Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is June 30, 2021, Wednesday of the 13th week in Ordinary Time. The Gospel said, Have you come here to torment us before the appointed time? Let's have a listen and reflect on it after. But first, The first reading is from the book of Genesis. Abraham was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born to him. Isaac grew, and on the day of the child's weaning, Abraham held a great feast. Sarah noticed the son whom Hagar the Egyptian had born to Abraham, playing with her son Isaac. So she demanded of Abraham, drive out that slave and her son. No son of that slave is going to share the inheritance. With my son Isaac, Abraham was greatly distressed, especially on account of his son Ishmael. But God said to Abraham, Do not be distressed about the boy, or about your slave woman. Heed the demands of Sarah, no matter what she is asking of you. For it is through Isaac that descendants shall bear your name. As for the son of the slave woman, I will make a great nation of him also, since he too is your offspring. Early the next morning Abraham got some bread and a skin of water, and gave them to Hagar. Then, placing the child on her back, he sent her away. As she roamed aimlessly in the wilderness of Beersheba, the water in the skin was used up. So she put the child down under a shrub, and then went and sat down opposite him about a bowshot away. For she said to herself, Let me not watch to see the child die. As she sat opposite Ishmael, he began to cry. God heard the boy's cry. And God's messenger called to Hagar from heaven. What is the matter, Hagar? Don't be afraid, God has heard the boy's cry in this plight of his. Arise, lift up the boy and hold him by the hand for I will make of him a great nation. Then God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. She went and filled the skin with water, and then let the boy drink. God was with the boy as he grew up. Responsorial Psalm The Lord hears the cry of the poor. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard. And from all his distress he saved him. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and delivers them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones. For naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry. But those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Come, children, hear me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Which of you desires life? and takes delight in prosperous days. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Father willed to give us birth by the word of truth, that we may be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel according to Matthew, when Jesus came to the territory of the Gadarenes, two demoniacs who were coming from the tombs met him. They were so savage that no one could travel by that road. They cried out, What have you to do with us, Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the appointed time? Some distance away a herd of many swine was feeding. The demons pleaded with him, If you drive us out, send us into the herd of swine. And he said to them, Go then. They came out and entered the swine and the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea where they drowned. The swine herds ran away, and when they came to the town they reported everything, including what had happened to the demoniacs. Thereupon the whole town came out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him they begged him to leave their district. Reflection Even demons recognized Jesus as the Son of God and acknowledged his authority over them. They were eventually sent into the swine. Surprisingly, the villagers were not happy, 
they considered their material possessions more important than the life of their fellow men and hence begged Jesus to leave. It is a tragedy when we pride our financial or material stability over our spiritual liberation. We must, at no point, value financial, bodily, or emotional comfort over and above a closer relationship with God, who cares for all. We must seize every given opportunity that we receive to let Jesus into our lives, no matter what it takes. Let us not give up in the midst of tribulations. Let us value human life more than material possessions. That's the end of the reflection from the Catholic Missal. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on my next upload. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.